Okay. Health effects of stress. Again, like I said, at this age you may not have a tremendous amount, but as you grow older and you get more responsibility, um, stress is there every day. Okay? All right. How can stress affect a person's health? Okay? You just saw in the video before how stress can affect your health, right? Mental breakdowns, um, gaining weight, um, all that stuff. All right? After this lesson, you will be able to explain how long-term stress affects the body system, describe the cognitive effects of stress, discuss how stress affects people's emotions, identify mental health conditions associated with stress, and summarize how stress influences behavior. Okay? Um, these two, I mean, all these are great, but I'll tell you what, these two right here, um, conditions associated with stress, and how... Uh, stress influences a person's behavior, okay? We talked about in 6.1, we talked about, you know, how stress affects relationships. Um, your mental health is in relationships. Stress is a big part of your life as you get older because you acquire more people in your life. For instance, if you have a family, picking up kids every day, simple things like that. Who's going to pick the kids up? Who's going to get them home to get them fed? All that is very stressful. Trust me, I've been through it. Okay? We got two car payments and a house payment. Who's going to get a raise? Who's going to change a career? Who, are we making enough money? All that's part of it. Okay? Um, one more activity. We're going to skip that. Effects of stress on the nervous system. The brain mobilizes other body systems to react to a threatening situation. Okay? So what is one of the things we talked about in the last part, uh, 6.1, what do you do when you're, when you're uh, put in a threatening situation? What is that called? Yeah, but what is, yeah, that's right, but what is, that's the, that's the lay term. What, what, is, what is it called? What do you do? If you're presented with a very stressful situation, you're going to do what or you're going to do what? Fight or flight. Remember? Fight or flight. So remember that. That's what the body does. Body wears down over time if stress persists. Impaired memory and forgetfulness. Okay? Impaired memory and forgetfulness. Okay? So you always want to try to train your life to be as less stressful as possible. You know, don't acquire so many bills. Don't acquire, don't try to acquire every pair of, um, Christian Louboutin shoes you can find. Don't try to require every pair of Jordans you can find. All that cost, most of the time, stress is attributed to money woes. If not as money woes, it's relationships. Okay? A job presents a lot of stress. Okay? Sometimes jobs, I need to be here so I can pay my bills. Okay? They draw you in emotionally. Okay? All right? The effects of stress on the nervous system, all right? Remember, you have this in your Google Classroom, so if you want to follow along or you need to um, go back and, 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 and remit um, some learning, um, it's there for you, okay? Stress hormones, okay? Effects of stress on the endocrine system. Stress hormones trigger changes that help the body respond quickly to a threat. Okay? As he said back there, stress hormones, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and cortisol. Okay? Epinephrine is what is, epinephrine is what is released when you're in the fight or flight situation. Okay? Norepinephrine is what cuts it off. It's released, you get through the threat, and then the norepinephrine cuts it off. However, it produces cortisol as well. So now when it produces cortisol, now weight stays on, especially belly fat. Okay? It stays on. All right? But norepinephrine is what is uh, produced that stimulates that fight or flight. Norepinephrine is what cuts it off. Okay? Cortisol is what 
is a result of the, both, of the, both of the things working together. Okay? Stress hormones trigger changes in the body that help respond quickly to a threat. Increased glucose and fatty acid give more energy. Increased glucose. Now, we're not talking about regular glucose like you get out of food. What this glucose is called, and this is just for your information, all right? This glucose is called what we call glucagon. Glucagon is a glucose that is organically produced by the body. Okay? That's what that is. Okay? Increased glucose and fatty acids give more energy. Increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Okay? Um, immune system disorders, obesity, and depression. Okay? Look at that. Increased risk of type 2 diabetes, right? Immune system disorders, obesity, and depression. You have to limit your stress. You have to, okay? Yeah. Now, are there, are there going to be some stress? Yeah, it's going to be some stress. It's going to be some good stress. It's going to be some bad stress, right? So what's the good, what's the, what is the good stress we talked about in 6.1? What's the, good pre what's the good stress, Mr. Ali? In 6.1, give, give me the, what is the good stress? What is that called? Starts with an E. No, the good stress. It's in 6.1. Reflect on your notes. What? You stress. That's the good. That's the stress that says, hey, you know what? I, I got to study for this test, but I'm good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make good on this test. But it's, it's a little hectic studying for it, but that's all right. It's good stress. It makes me, okay? Distress is the one we, we want to limit, okay? De-stress is the one we want to limit, okay? We got those three, all right? Increased risk of type 2 diabetes, mellitus, uh, immune disorders, and obesity and depression, Okay? Effects of stress on the cardiovascular system. What is the cardiovascular system? What is the main component of a cardiovascular system? What is the main organ in your body? Cardiovascular system. Heart. And lungs. And lungs. Cardiovascular system. Okay? All right. Initial impact. Increased heart rate. Blood pressure. Okay? Stress will make your blood pressure rise. Okay? Stress will make your blood pressure rise. You have to get your stress under control. Go for a run. Get something throughout your day that enables you to release some of the stress you have. Some of it may be reading a book. Some of it may be walking or going hiking. Some may, you may be getting on your motorcycle and riding. It may be just a ride in your car. But gentlemen, once you get that family, there is some stress that's going to come with that. And you've got to find a way other than bickering back and forth with your wife or with someone else that releases that stress. Okay? You've got, you got to be able to handle it. Okay? And find a way to cope. All right? Continued, in, continued impact. Fatty deposits and glucose narrow the blood vessels. Heart must work harder to pump blood. Impact over time, chronic wear and tear on heart increase, risk for heart attack, stroke, and other diseases. Okay? Okay? It's not necessary that you write all of this. Just get a, just get a, just know what they mean and, and move on. Again, it's in your PowerPoint. You can always go look, for, look at it. Okay? All right. We're going to move here. Effects on, effects of stress on the immune system. Okay? Fewer resources for immune system as long as threat continues. Okay? Decrease in the disease fighting immune cells. All right. Here's the deal. Here's the real deal. If you work and you're stressed, and you work, and you're stressed, and work. One thing about the body, it will sit you down its, yourself, itself. It'll sit you down, I promise you. It happened to me. It's happened to me on more than one occasion. I've worked and worked. This is school 
Coming to work for school, teaching kids, this is the fun part of my day. After school is the stressful part. Going to see patients at home, that's a stressful part. On the weekend, after school, things of that nature, that's a stressful part. Getting home at 8 and 9 o'clock, that's a stressful part. This is fun. This is cool. You don't believe me, huh? <laughs> All right. Decrease in disease-fighting immune cells. Trust me, if you're stressed out, your body will tell you. When you feel like, hey, I need to go in here and lie down for a minute, go and do it. Otherwise, your body will, lay you, will do it for you, and you don't want it to do it, okay? Increased likelihood of experiencing disease while stress persists, okay? Experiencing diseases while stress persists, okay? Just know that stress has an effect on the immune system, okay? Know that stress has an effect on your immune system. Okay? Effects of stress on the digestive system. Spasms of the esophagus. Increased acid and stomach leading to indigestion. All right, let's talk about the second one. All right? That stress can cause what you call acid reflux. Okay? Stress will cause your stomach acid to increase. Worsen symptoms of ulcers and other digestive conditions. Okay? Again, keep yourself out of stressful situations as much as possible. Okay? Keep yourself out of stressful situations as much as possible. Okay? So I'll give you a, just a second to catch up with your notes. Got what? I got sick over this Friday because of that. You got what? Uh, gastritis. Gastritis? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it's, it's a real deal. It's a real deal. If you, like, eat and then, like, you're getting into an argument or you're shouting or something like that after you eat, you'll notice that, that it, it kind of com it kind of comes up a little bit. It, it, it's all part of it, man. You gotta be, you gotta be chill. I mean, I, you know, I hadn't been chill all my life, but as I get older, I get a lot more usa. Okay. All right, we caught up for the most part. I'll go back to anything anybody misses. Effects of stress on reproductive system. Decreased levels of sex hormones. Okay. Lower levels of sperms in males. Restricted ovulation in females and reduced fertility. Changes in menstrual cycle. Okay. You young ladies, it'll be a change in your menstrual cycle. I can always tell when my daughter, when it's time for, to get ready to championship race in track because her cycle won't be as regular because she's stressed out behind trying to advance to the next level. Okay? So I'll be glad when this college signing thing is done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Athletes get a lot. Athletes get a lot. The harder they train, um, sometimes that, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah, no problem. Okay? Cognitive effects of stress. Trouble concentrating or focusing on a task. Difficulty paying attention and learning. Poor decision making. Negative thoughts. Okay? Those are all just regular things. But that's everyday life. Okay? We're not going to focus on that too long. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Emotional effects of stress. Negative feelings, such as nervousness. Okay? So, listen. Number one is a big deal with people. 
it's a big deal with people. Okay? Everybody, everybody can't, I'll put it this way, everybody can't get up here and talk. Okay? Some people, this is a very stressful situation. When you tell someone, oh, you've got to give a, 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 a PowerPoint presentation or you've got to give a speech or something, that stress is so great. Negative feelings such as nervousness, fear, anxiety. A lot of people have anxiety. Okay? Um, helplessness, frustration, irritability, hostility, and anger. Greater risk of developing mental health conditions and illnesses, lower level of energy, reduced appetite, and difficulty sleeping. Okay. Who has a difficult time sleeping the, day, um, the night before first day of school? Who sleeps? Does anybody sleep? You sleep? Sleep good? Night before the first day of school? Okay. All right, cool. But that freshman, oh, you're all pretty much freshmen, huh? So you mean to tell me you're a freshman and you weren't anxious the night before the first day of high school? You were not anxious? No? Not really? Okay. You tough dude. I know when I was going to high school that first that freshman year, I was like, ooh, I didn't sleep at all that night. Like, man, I don't know what's going to go on tomorrow, but I'm going to be ready for it. Okay? So negative feelings, those are all emotional effects of stress. Okay, you don't have to write all this down. Just write a few of these up here that will jog your memory to what emotional effects of stress is. Okay, you don't have to write everything down. Okay, but remember, again, it is in your Google Classroom. PowerPoints one through six. PowerPoints one through six. Okay. Stress-related disorders, mental illness that develops as a result of stressful events. Example, acute stress disorder begins immediately after stressful, um, after stressful event occurs and lasts from three days to one month. PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Post-traumatic stress syndrome. Okay. Characterized by strong and lingered reaction to extreme stress. A lot of our troops come back home. They have post-traumatic stress syndrome from, they tell me, I don't know, firsthand, bombs dropping, constant fighting, constant level of heightened alertness of being over in another country, shooting at someone that's shooting back at you. It's not a one-way street. Okay. So post-traumatic stress syndrome, and that is not just um, to soldiers. Anybody can have post-traumatic stress syndrome that came out of a heightened stressful situation. Okay? PTSD. Know what that is. Put a box around it. Post-traumatic stress syndrome. Okay? Burnout, state of emotional and physical mental exhaustion, okay? State of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion can lead to significant negative consequences for emotional and physical health. Difficulty sleeping, negative feelings, substance abuse, increased risk of developing an illness, certain health conditions. Burnout can happen to anybody. Speaking from a student standpoint, Okay, I saw in my high school people that were the valedictorian, they were the salutatorian, they were most likely to succeed and all those things. And when they got to college, they were absolute flunkies. They had burned, their parents had burned them out so much trying to be A students and, 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 and number one and all those type of things in high school that they were so 
tired and frustrated by the time they got to college, they did absolutely nothing. Me, on the other hand, I wasn't that person. I didn't do all my work. Just, I was a sports guy. I was a football guy, track and field. Not to say that's what all of them do, but I mean, it did enough to pass. But I wasn't, but I wasn't stressed out when I got to college. College is when I started to do the real work. I started to say, okay, let me take this a little more seriously. Let me, let me move on and do some, some, some real work. I didn't have that behind it. So I, don't, I want you guys to know that just because you're not on the A honor roll, just because you're not on the B honor roll, doesn't mean you're not going to be successful in college or whatever you go to do. Okay? That doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean just because they were on A honor roll or on B honor roll that they are going to be successful. There's no likelihood, there's no chances, there's none of that. It's just hard work. And it's just when you plan on implementing your hard work. That's all. It's a timing issue. Okay? It's a timing issue. Okay? Well, this 6.2 go for a minute, don't it? Okay? Lesson review. How does stress affect the memory? Changes in the brain due to stress can lead to forgetfulness. What are three stress hormones? Give me the three stress hormones. Epinephrine, remember, fight or flight. Norepinephrine is what cuts it off. When the stress, when the threat stops, that's what cuts off the epinephrine. Okay? When the threat stops, right? Cortisol is a result of what happened. Okay? It's released. Which stress-related disorder is characterized by strong and lingering reaction to extreme stress? I need you to know this one. Look at number three. Read that. Which stress-related disorder is characterized by a strong lingering reaction to extreme stress? What? PTSD. I need you to know number three. Like the back of your hand. Okay? I need you to know number three. Okay? These are your three questions in lesson and review. Okay? So this is all for chapter six. We will have a test here pretty soon. Um, I will add to the other test. Um, it will not be like you'll be able to forget everything that happened in the other test. All I do is if it was 10 or 15 on that, I add 10 or 15 to it. The next test, I add 10 or 15 to it, okay? You always got to remember what you learned last, okay? Um, I have a worksheet for you, so um, this is the end of 6.2.